uh, areas? Are they like farm to market roads or just uh, wooded areas? <laughs> a, a combination of all of them. Dirt roads, logging roads, uh, highways, side of the highways, uh, front and backyard, pasture land, and, and even into the, uh, the forest land. Is there a landmark along the reservoir where you can uh, um, you can tell from where the witnesses saw the car-shaped piece go in? I mean, is it closer to the dam or further north? That, uh, all we know is that it's in Newton County. Uh, they do have GPS coordinates on that, but uh, we don't have, we don't know what those are. Can you comment on the um, the emotional state of the people who are going out and doing this searching today? What's the what's the what's the sense? Well, it's, it, it, it's emotional for everyone because, you know, uh, all of us have a involvement in the space program as well as in uh, our fellow man. And um, anytime something like this occurs uh, and you get all these people working together, it, is, it, it becomes emotional. Uh, Probably around six o'clock. Yes, it's uh, Maddox M A D D O X. First name? Tom C O M. Yeah, uh, No, I'm the sheriff of Sabine County. Sabine uh, County, sorry. And we'll, we'll, we'll uh, come back at six o'clock and uh, give you another briefing. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we, we've got to get back to the command post. Thank you. We've been listening to uh, Sheriff Tommy Maddox, Sabine County, Texas, briefing reporters there. That's another one of the places uh, across uh, this part of the world uh, that is dealing with a fair amount of debris, which rained down as the Space Shuttle Columbia came over and broke up in mid-flight, uh, a mid-flight breakup uh, unprecedented in the history of aviation or space uh, travel. It's time for us to take a break. When we return, we're going to um, check in with an expert, a man who was one of the lead engineers in the shuttle program during the era of Challenger before and after. We'll ask him to, to give us a good explanation about some of these tiles and blankets and what is reinforced carbon carbon anyway. We'll answer that question in just a minute. According to the Wall Street Journal, indoor air pollution can be up to five times worse than the air outdoors. Clean air can be the difference between living comfortably. Tales in comparison to the number of sites in this county, in this area. If you can believe it, there are now up to 1,200 debris sites in Nacogdoches County. And if you actually want to mi uh, measure the mileage, the square mileage of the debris field, it's 900 square miles. Just in this county, 600 square miles. So. There is a lot of work to be done here, and you mentioned the piney woods. How about all the lakes? How about all those fields? How about all of the, uh, the rocky terrain? It's uneven. It's difficult to see. They're really expecting that um, they're going to be seeing this, as you heard the representative in Hemphill, for months and months and years and years to come. Military is aiding in the search. In fact, military has come out with all sorts of different aircraft, a C-130, several different helicopters, Blackhawks. In fact, we even heard a couple of X-16s were being used in the search for debris here. A Coast Guard cutter off the coast of Louisiana looking into the Gulf of Mexico to see if there's debris there as well. They've enlisted the help of horses, a four-wheel drive to go through all of this very difficult terrain to see if they can't um, scan for any kind of debris at all. And they are, of course, relying on people, a huge reliance on people to be the uh, the eyes and ears, so to speak, the eyes and ears of residents. Here's one of the sites we've been seeing. A lot of volunteers going out to uh, search for debris. Steve Kelly and his pals we just saw on the side of the road here with your ATVs. You get together normally to ride on Sundays. Today with a different purpose, though? Oh, uh, I would say so. We're, we're riding for the fun of it, and plus we're looking to see if we can spot some things. What, what are you going to do if you find uh, If we find it, we'll uh, mark it where we can and notify the proper authorities and uh, they can come back out and check it, and whatever process they go through to collect it, I don't know. But we're just looking. Uh, just shortly after that, they uh, zipped off and uh, onto their ride for the afternoon. Um, there are a lot more of uh, uh, of uh, the ATV riders where, uh, where they came from, too, from these parts. A lot of people are helping out. Phone calls, 25 per hour at last measurement coming in from people who discovered something in or around their property or nearby. There are about 150 phone calls behind, and that basically means those who are fielding the phone calls and taking down the information as to where the debris may be located, 
they can't even get to them. There are 150 different uh, debris sites uh, backlogged in terms of being able to try to check them out, mark them, GPS map them, and put them on the, uh, the category list for analysis and for investigation. Uh, so we expect that that's only going to continue, according to local officials as well, because people are going out and looking at their own property. Also wanted to tell you that some of the things that we have found uh, to date haven't just been sort of nameless uh, bits of, uh, of material or of, uh, of metal. It's also been some personal effects too. A patch was found uh, off of the sleeve of a flight suit from one of the crew members. And that was kind of a harrowing discovery for uh, those in East Texas who made the discovery. It was in the same area where human remains have been found also. I'm in Nacogdoches, and there has been a report of human remains found here, but more human remains have been found um, about 20 miles, uh, or at least an hour's drive east of me in Hemphill, uh, where you heard that news conference before. Um, but in terms of trying to guard the material that's here, they can't even guard a small portion of these things. At this point, they've got 100 sites guarded. They're expecting 70 to 80 troopers to arrive from neighboring counties to help guard and keep these things safe until the investigators can get a look, detoxify them, um, and, and, and analyze them. Back to you, Bob. Nacogdoches, Texas. Ashley, thank you. And, you know, with all the talk about the danger of these uh, parts from the shuttle, uh, there's particular attention apparently being paid to a lot of the schools in Texas. Schoolyards, a priority area, because they certainly don't want kids coming in trying to pick around there when they get back to school tomorrow. When we come back, uh, we're going to have more, obviously, on the Space Shuttle Columbia tragedy. We're going to take a look at the impact on the space program itself. There are some astronauts still up in space on the space station up there. Dangers still on the ground as well. We're going to talk about the future of space travel. Also, coming up, reminding you, 4.30 today, Eastern Time, the latest news conference from NASA in Houston.